Welcome to this AutoCAD Essential Training course. What we're going to be doing as we work through this course is getting you up to speed with AutoCAD and making you a seasoned AutoCAD user. The whole idea of this course is it'll teach you all the methodologies and naming philosophies that you need to know and how to drive AutoCAD effectively. So as we work through this course, we'll take you through a lot of exercise files teaching you how to drive AutoCAD and how to make sure that you drive AutoCAD productively and most importantly, profitably. The whole idea is you don't want to waste time when you're using AutoCAD. You want AutoCAD to be your tool to allow you to work with that bottom line and make sure that you're effective at the same time as well. So let's get going now and get you working through AutoCAD and get you through your essential training. So what should you know before you start this AutoCAD Essential Training course? Well, the first thing you should know is that we are using the latest version of AutoCAD, which is AutoCAD 2019. Now, you don't have to be running that latest version to take this particular course. It's obviously preferable, but if you're not running it, don't worry. What we're going to teach you is the core skills that you need to know to drive AutoCAD effectively and productively. Now, the whole idea is that it comes down to the bottom line. The quicker you are when you're drafting with AutoCAD, the quicker you are in the office, and obviously your company is that little bit more profitable because you're good at what you do, because you've learned how to drive AutoCAD effectively. That's the whole idea of these courses, to make you better and empower you and to drive you forward using AutoCAD. Now, be aware as well that the version that we're using is AutoCAD 2019, and that uses a file format called the DWG, the drawing file. That's the AutoCAD native file format. All of the DWG files that you need will be provided with this particular course as well. Now, just be aware that the DWG file format is available in AutoCAD all the time, and there are various different DWG versions. We'll cover that in the next video where we talk about using the exercise files. When you're working in this AutoCAD Essential Training course, the exercise files are available for download from the website. As you work through each of the videos, I will guide you as to which exercise file you should use, which exercise file should be downloaded for that particular video as well. Now, as mentioned in the what you should know about this particular course, we're using the DWG file format. Now, when you're using the exercise files, if you look at the top of the AutoCAD screen in the title bar, you will see the name of the file. So you'll notice at the top of the screen right now, the drawing name is introduction.dwg, using the DWG file format that I've mentioned previously. Now, you will be aware if you've used AutoCAD before that you can save back to different formats of the DWG file type. Now, AutoCAD 2019, the latest version, and AutoCAD 2018, the previous version, have a 2018 DWG file format. But what that means is that only AutoCAD 2018 and 2019 can read that file format. So what we've done with the exercise files for you with this particular course is they're all saved back to the DWG 2013 file format. So that means any version of AutoCAD from 2013 up to 2019 can read those exercise files. So you can download them from the website, store them in a known location, and use them to follow along with the videos in this particular course. When you start working with AutoCAD 2019, you will notice a subtle difference to the user interface. Autodesk have changed the icons ever so slightly. So if you go up to something like the Draw panel on the Home tab or the Modify panel on the Home tab, you'll notice the icons look similar but different to older versions of AutoCAD. So you'll notice that you've got slightly different colour and shaped icons. They all look remarkably similar, but they're just that little bit different. Things like, for example, here, the offset icon look a little bit different. The shape has changed slightly on the offset icon there. 
Also as well, if you go over along the tabs at the top of the ribbon, you'll notice now you've got a new Collaborate tab in AutoCAD 2019 only. And you'll see that it's got the shared views and the drawing compare commands in there. Now, drawing compare is a new feature in AutoCAD 2019. And if you look at the AutoCAD 2019 new features course, we go through that in more detail there. Also as well, I'll just jump back to the Home tab there so we've got a full ribbon. You'll notice on the Quick Access Toolbar there's a couple of new icons as well. You can now open from the web and from mobile. So you can open from the AutoCAD web-based version and the AutoCAD mobile-based version. You can also save to web and mobile as well. So there's just a couple of new little features in there that are quite cool and quite useful in AutoCAD 2019. They're very simple changes, very subtle changes, but you might not notice them otherwise. And I just thought I'd bring them to your attention before you start getting going through the AutoCAD 2019 training courses.